Oh, I can't watch that. I can't look. I can't look. I can't even look at that. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Kill Bill Volume 2. Here is my prediction for this movie. This might be kind of a hot take, but I think in this one, she kills Bill. She didn't kill him in the last one, not like obviously because there's two movies. So, so that would be kind of weird if she did in the first one. And then like, what, what would this one be about, you know? But yeah, she's going to complete her quest on finding Bill and killing him. Now he said something very interesting at the end of the last movie. She's unaware that her child is still alive. So while she was in a coma, I guess she must have gave birth while in a coma. And yeah, her child, I, I'm assuming Bill has her child now. She would be about four years old now. We got tracked down and killed the rest of the team that once was, and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the pulling through action, that'll be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next Quentin Tarantino movie that I do will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. But it wasn't from lack of trying, I can tell you that. I went on what the movie advertisements refer to as a roaring rampage of revenge. Mm, it's a revenge season. I've killed a hell of a lot of people to get to this point. But I have only one more. The last one. The one I'm driving to right now. The only one left. I am gonna kill Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like as a twist, he might have more students for her to kill before she gets to him. Like, he has some new students she doesn't know about or something. Lupine's wedding chapel that put this whole gory story into motion has since become legend. Massacre at Two Pines. Watch. This probably didn't unfold the way that it was portrayed to us in the first movie, too. Probably happened a different way. How many got killed and who killed them? Changes depending on who's telling the story. Mmm. The massacre didn't happen during a wedding at all. Ah. It was a wedding rehearsal. Ah. Now, when we come to the part where I... I mean, that explains why there wasn't that many people there, but I figured she was just having a smaller wedding because I know people like to do that. We'll try to restrain ourselves. <laughs> Y'all got a song? Is that Sam Jackson? Like, I don't think it's ever explained her the motive behind killing everyone at her wedding. Oh, well, in this case, rehearsal. So I'm assuming we'll find out in this movie, though, like why Bill and everyone else showed up, tried to kill her and everyone else. Hello, kiddo. That's Bill. Wow. Damn, that's not what I thought he would he would look like. This moment, beautiful Brian, these old eyes have ever seen. Last look. Hmm. See, you got a bun in the oven. It all suddenly seems so clear. It'd be a great environment for my little girl to grow up in. Mm. Bro, we know something's gonna go down at any given second. We're just anticipating it happen at any given second. As opposed to jetting around the world, killing human beings, and being paid best some. Precisely. To each his own. I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. I had the loveliest dream about you. Oh, here's Tommy. Call me early. Tommy. I'd like you to meet my father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, played off as her, her dad. What am I thinking? You should give her away. Tommy, that's not exactly daddy's cup of tea. You don't owe me a damn mm. thing. Well, apparently she does. He's the man you want. Mm. Go stand up. Yeah. Yeah, like, obviously they had like a thing going, but she married someone else. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the second time. That's kind of weird now. Like, if I'm gonna marry you and I turn around and see you kissing someone, like, your, oh, who I think is your dad? I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, she kissed him because they had a thing going. You know, he's not actually her dad, but, like, still, imagine her. Oh, shit, yep. They're here. Okay, well, we still gotta kill the dude and the girl with the eye patch. So, and Bill. So, we got three more to kill still. We've only killed two of them. What the mm. hell? <laughs> Damn. I mean, it still pretty much went down like the way you'd expect. The only difference was it was a rehearsal, not an actual wedding. Like, you telling me she cut her way through eighty-eight bodyguards? Oh, that, before she got to O'Ring. That, that dude is in Hateful Eight. He's the cowboy. Quentin really likes to reuse his actors. He really does. They all fell under her Hanzo sword. She got a Hanzo sword. He made one for him. Didn't he swear a blood oath to never make another sword? Would appear he has broken yep. it. So he already knows about what she did. He already knows that 
She's killed two of them. I know this is a ridiculous question before I ask it, but you haven't by any chance kept up with your swordplay. <clears throat> I pawned that years ago. You hawked a Hattori Hansa Wow. Sword. It was priceless. How much did you at least get for it? Not in El Paso, <laughs> it ain't. In El Paso, I got me $250 for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's it? If she wants to fight with me, all she's got to do is come down to the club and start some shit, and we'll be in fight. I know we haven't spoken in some time. But she's coming for all of us, and I need you. But you've got to get over being mad at me and start becoming afraid of me. <laughs> because she is coming. And she's coming. Through. Yeah, I think Bill. I think Bill's afraid of her. He really needs him to come out of retirement. Come protect Bill. Bill seems desperate to get his help. Forget the past. That woman deserves her revenge. We deserve to die. Yeah. Well, when she comes for uh, him, don't know his name, but he's either just gonna accept his death or she's not gonna kill him. He might fight her a little bit, but he's gonna be, you know, what? I deserve to die, and you deserve to get your revenge. So just, just do it. You know, I feel like something like that's going to happen or she's just not going to kill him and they're going to be cool. Maybe like he's the only one that lives out of everyone. She went down. She went after. Take a hit. Be somebody, baby. I wonder what they're like actually snorting, because obviously they're not doing like real cocaine. The actors, they're still snorting. And it's so, like, what are they? Do what are they actually snorting while they're acting? You know, you're not doing the job that I'm paying you to do is. Just fucking convinced me. You're fired. Calendar time for buddy. Okay, you working tomorrow? No, anymore. I don't. There's your name. You say so. There used to be your name. Okay. Saturday. There used to be your name. <laughs> fucking with your cash is the only thing you kids seem to understand. I want you to go home till I call you. Before you leave, talk to Rocket. She's got a job for you to do. Don't wear that fucking hat here. The boss of the customers. I'm the boss of you. That I want you to keep that shit kicker hat at home. Look at a bash for him. Oh, like, I feel like he's the only one that's like somewhat redeemable out of all of them. I mean, we don't know much about him, so like maybe not. Yeah, but honey, uh, the toilet is. Uh, that's the job you want me to do. There's shitty water all over. Yeah, I'm floor. going home. He told me to go home, so. Mm-hmm. Damn, he's at rock bottom. Cheer. He knows it. Oh, he's getting he's getting ready to fight her. Oh, he's just waiting around right the door. He definitely has like a shotgun pointing at that door, just rocking back in his chair, waiting. Oh yeah, I fucking knew it. Jesus Christ, there's no there's no way she survived that. Like, she's going to survive that, but like in reality she shouldn't. Once I was winning. <laughs> no, he's playing that song for her. Once I was winning. I don't want to neither. She's gonna get him somehow, but like the question is how. I win. Eh, I mean buddy, we're only 27 minutes into this movie. <laughs> Ah, well, yeah, he wants to bring her alive back to Bill, so that's how she's going to survive this. He doesn't kill her right here. He just knocks her out, brings her back to Bill, and then and she escapes then. And to what do I owe this dubious pleasure? I just caught me the cowgirl. Ain't never been caught. Did you kill her? No. Guess what I'm holding in my hand right now. Her katana. What? A brand spanking new. At Tori Hanzo, so and I'm here to tell you how. It's nice. How much? Well, that's hard to say, being that it's priceless and all. <laughs> What's the terms? You get your bony ass down here first thing in the morning with a million dollars in folding cash, and I'll give you the greatest sword ever made by a man. Damn. Then he's gonna get all back out of this because his life fucking sucks. <laughs> Sounds like we got a deal. One condition. I get her too. She must suffer to her last breath. That hell, darling. I can pretty much damn well guarantee. No, I guess he's not gonna hand her over to Bill. Paula Schultz. Isn't that the last name of um 
The dude from Django Unchained? I don't know. No, that was his first name, actually. thought that could have been... Oh, wait. 1823 to 1898? Wait, yeah, that's... Wait, that could totally be his headstone. What the hell? Because, uh... It was 1850-something and Django Unchained. His name was King Schultz. So yeah, Schultz is his last name. I don't know if his, fir his first, like, actual name was Paula, though. Hey. Hey. <sighs> oh, that would be fucking tough. Being mace that close to your eye. Oof. I'm gonna spray his whole goddamn can right in your eyeballs. I'll burn him right out of your fucking head. And buried alive. <sighs> This is for breaking my brother's heart. Oh, Bill's his brother? Okay, how is she gonna get out of this? This coffin? You're buried a lot, like... She ha she probably gets out before they bury her. They, they have to. She has to. But I don't know how she could do anything, like, physically demanding when she just got shot by a shotgun in the chest. Dude, I would get so claustrophobic being in this coffin. Mm, just not being able to like bring, like bend your knees and bring your knees to your chest. Oh my god, it would piss me off so much. Or like not being able to do this. I don't get claustrophobic unless I can't do this. If I can't do this, then like if I can't move my arms, I get, that's when it starts to kick in for me. And I'm just like, I, I mean, I, not all the way like this, but just like something like here. If I just can't move in like this vicinity, then then I start to freak out. Mm, dude, then she's gonna run out of air. Mm, chapter 8. So began the legend of Pai Mei's five-point palm exploding heart technique. He hits you with his fingertips at five different pressure points on your body. Let's you walk away. But once you've taken five steps, your heart explodes inside your body. Pai Mei says, mm -hmm. obey. If you flash him, even for an instant, a defiant eye, he'll pluck it out. And if you throw any American sass his way, he'll snap your back and your neck like they were twigs. Yeah, definitely don't give him any sass. Show him respect. When will I see you again? When he tells me you're done. So in your case, it might take a little while. You know, she's gonna go through a lot of lessons in her training and they're gonna build up what she learns here is what helps her get out of the coffin then. She's gonna go through a lot of adversity here and have to overcome it, but it's why she becomes so good at fighting. You need to be tough on them, push them, but like, but I guess it's just like in this case, he doesn't like her just because, you know, she's American, Caucasian. Just like earn his respect and stuff. But... About to call you master. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Shoulder. Oh, what the? Mm. I mean, he truly is the master, but like, still. Okay. So we just got absolutely destroyed by him and he's barely trying. All right. Really sets the tone of how good he is. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, I like that, I like that. Then you elbow strike him. You know, <laughs> or you just do that. 
Well, he's three inches away, then you clinch up with him, and then... <laughs> you gotta break your hand before you get through that. But you just gotta learn how to do it. Once you do it perfectly, it will be seamless. I'll go right through it. Her case is different. Like she's trying to become a like an actual assassin. So I guess she needs to be like pushed this hard because there's absolutely no room for failure in her case. This way we'll build a character for her and it'll make her tough, but she'll also grow to hate you and resent you. Like she's about to pop out of this grave. Okay, first step. Dude, if she was any taller, she would not be able to do that. <laughs> there just wouldn't be enough room in the coffin. Yeah, but, but what's your plan? What are you gonna do with the boot? Like... Okay, oh yeah, she has a knife. She can tie her hands for you, but then what? Is This shit was nailed shut. Like how, and you're buried six feet under, like... Like you can't possibly lift this coffin door up. The dirt's too heavy. That's only buried like a foot deep, I guess. But yeah, she remembered her training. She's remembering to stay calm. Don't panic. At first she was panicking hella hard. And then she remembered her training. Don't panic because then you won't be able to think as clearly. It's hollow. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gonna fucking... <laughs> Yeah, but then that cracks all the dirt just comes in, like, and you're just gonna be buried under all this dirt, yeah. Mm, uh, I guess. I guess that kind of automatically makes a hole, because the dirt starts to collapse and go into the coffin, I guess. She did it, though. You love this here, Succeed. How do you know Eye Patch Girl's not just gonna kill you and take the sword so she doesn't have to pay you? Because I mean, they're all fucking scumbags, so like, I wouldn't be shocked. But since maybe since they used to work together, they're, she has that respect for him to not do that, so. Oh, this song. Her theme. So now that you're not gonna have to face your enemy no more on the battlefield, which are you filled with relief? Or regret. Regret? What is there actually money in here? Or... Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Must be such a good feeling, though. They just come, they just come up on a million dollars like that. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I got him. Ah, she snaked him. Damn. Bud, I'd like to introduce my friend, the Black Mamba. That's, what, that's uh, Uma Thurman's old name. But only with the Mamba, and this has been true in Africa since the dawn of time, is death sure. A bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. Now you should listen to this because this concerns you. My advice to you now, find God. Well, you should probably lock that fucking snake up before it gets you too. How'd you even get in the bag without it attacking you? Let me answer that question you asked earlier more thoroughly. Yeah, she's gonna go kill the real Black Mamba. This moment, the biggest R I feel is regret. Mm -hmm. That maybe the greatest warrior I have ever met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking, scrub, <laughs> elky piece of shit like you. Yep. Well, you'll feel some relief when you find out she's alive. See why she got the title Black Mamba because. It's inevitable when she's coming after you. I'll be there soon. <laughs> the shot of the feet, what the f Where, Where's this black mom at? Where's this snake at? It's still loose in the trailer. Oh my god. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> hmm. I love when the movie does that. Do 
for my brother Bud, the only man I ever loved. Bill. Oh, wait. Oh, he never pawned it. He said he pawned it. Yeah. Guess that makes him a liar now, don't it? I guess he just wanted nothing to do with the life, but he wasn't stupid enough to actually pawn it. He just said he did because he, he just wanted to forget about that life. Maybe just so Bill would think, like, oh, he's he's no longer any help, I guess. Did you say to Pi May to make him snatch out your eye? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why she doesn't have an eye. That's where she learned to snatch out the eye from the last movie. I called him a miserable old fool. I killed that miserable old fool. Damn. So I guess she was a student after Beatrix. I poisoned his fish head. She probably pissed her off so much. He's such a hard teacher, you know? That's like the con. If you're too hard on your students, they're going to resent you. They're going to hate you. And they're going to want to kill you. Obviously, like, Ellie here doesn't really have the patience, though, like Beatrix does. I mean, like, to be fair, they came to him. You know, he, it's not like he reached out to them. So, like, he doesn't owe them respect. They have to earn it from him. But still, that's why you should always be nice to people. Because you never know. Right. Please. You don't have a future. Look at Yoda and Luke. Luke would have never killed Yoda. Because Yoda was nice. <laughs> oh, shit! Yes, brother, I am! Oh. oh, my God. Boy, I can't even imagine how bad that would hurt. Ugh. Oh, I can't watch that. I can't look. I can't look. I can't even look at that. Damn. Yeah, I just leave her, I guess. What, what is she gonna do? Like, Pai Mei snatched the first one out. She's becoming the master. Poetic. Where's Bill? I remember when Bill was only five years old. I, I don't care. Just tell me where he is. Here you were driving a truck. My pussy wagon died on me. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what happened to that. Bill shot you in the head, no? I would have been much nicer. I would have just cut your face. Oh, yeah, that is much nicer. I'd for sure rather get my fucking face cut off than get shot in the head if I if I was gonna die, yeah. Billy got the Via Cuadro on the road to Salina. Billy, like a song to me. Yeah, so why would you tell me where, exactly where he is? Do you the know fuck? Why I help you? Because he will want me to. Now that I don't believe. Oh, well, he ever going to see you again. I kind of believe Bill would do that, you know? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> hmm. What? Freeze, mommy. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah, it's her daughter. Yeah, Bill's gonna use her daughter against her. Mommy. Hey, get back down there. You're oh, yeah. playing possum. Yeah, he knows she's not gonna kill Bill in front of her fucking daughter, bro. And like, this is such a shock to her because she had no idea she was even alive. So she's like trying to process this right now. Nice. Oh, she she has to play along. Yeah. You are. <laughs> I told her that you were asleep, but that one day you'd wake up and come back to her. Mommy's been dreaming of you. Oh. Did you dream of me? I dreamed of you. Mm hmm. Every single night, baby. Every single night. <sighs> smart, Bill. Smart play. Damn smart play, Bill. You know, sweetie, mommy's kind of. Mad at daddy. <laughs> Why, daddy? Were you being a bad daddy? <laughs> I'm afraid I was. Our little girl learned about life and death the other day. I accidentally stepped on him. He's in a, he's just been in a fish tank. How did you accidentally step on him? Just how did your foot accidentally find its way into Emilio's fish bowl? Yeah. I said, no, no, no. Emilio was on the carpet when I stepped on him. How did he get on the carpet? She took Emilio mm. out of his bowl. And what was Emilio doing on the carpet? Suffocating. Even a four-year-old with no concept of life or death knew what it meant. So yeah, they're gonna put her to bed, and then what? Is she gonna kill Bill while her daughter's in bed? I don't think. She, no, I don't think she will, because then she, her daughter won't have a dad. Like you don't. Ah. You. What would happen to mommy if I shot her? But I didn't know when I shot mommy what would happen to me. Mm hmm. I was very sad. My father would come home to mother, and when he'd see. You know, one time I watched the Ghost Rider when I was like, actually, you know what's cool? I could just see what, what year that movie came out, and then I'll know how old I was. Ghost Rider, 2007. So I was like seven, right? I got the worst fucking nightmares after watching that. I could, I couldn't sleep. 
Like I said, I pulled an all-nighter just because I just literally couldn't fall asleep. I was having like nightmare visions of the villain in that movie. I was just like in my bed, tossing and turning, just scared as fuck. <laughs> you think her daughter will grow up? Oh wait, never mind, I made it dead. I was gonna say. Do you think they'll send her off to Pai Mei eventually? But no, nah, I just remember that fool's dead. Unless uh, Ellie, the girl the eye patch was lying about that, I don't know. I just remember that fool got waxed. And now her guard's up. I really thought Bill's gonna do something while her guard was down. But, dude, Quinn does that all the time. Like, the tension in the scene, like, he builds the tension up throughout the movie, and then he gives you a moment like this where you totally think something's gonna happen, but then there's a reason why it can't, and then you think it's gonna happen anyway, but it doesn't. And then every now and then he makes it happen regardless. Real life, honestly. Oh, oh, fuck. Now, if you don't settle down, I'm gonna have to put one in your knee. It just so happens. I have a solution. Oh, ah! oh, what is that? What the fuck did you just shoot me with? It's an incredibly potent and quite infallible truth serum. Okay. Euphoria? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the show. I'm calling you a killer. A natural born killer. A fucking assassin. You always have been, and you always will be. Did you really think your life in El Paso was going to Mm, very low standards for that life, so probably could have, but probably no. Not. Yeah, pro no. All those people you killed to get to me felt damn good, didn't they? Yes. Mm, yeah, she's trying to resist. Now comes the sixty-four thousand dollar question. It's very specific. Why did you run away from me and my baby? Do you remember the last assignment you sent me on? She so started thinking she did it to save her her baby tried to i was pregnant yeah and then she realized she found out she was pregnant she wanted to make sure her her kid got a good life so she needed to get away from bill because she couldn't keep being a killer if she becomes a mother so so she did it for her daughter but it backfired kind of because bill's a fucking psycho pretty good with that shotgun not that i have to be at this range but i'm a fucking surgeon with this shotgun <laughs> but i'm pregnant what is this? It's a guilt trip. <laughs> Sympathy st strategy. Please stay where you are and don't move. Mm, it's when you snake here and... I don't know what this fucking shit means. The box with the directions is right there. Nah, it's too much to read. Take too long to read. You could shoot me as I'm reading it. Nah. Blue means pregnant. I'll read it myself, thank you. Say I were to believe you, what then? Just go home. But then she doesn't get paid. I'll do the same. But I mean, then uh, Lisa Wong doesn't die either. If she go, if Beatrix goes home, then. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that was a weird fucking encounter. Very unique. I've never seen it go down like that. Because I was gonna be a mother. Can you understand that? Well, why didn't you tell me then instead of now? Once you knew, you'd claim her, and I didn't want that. You would have sent her ass to Pai Mao as soon as you possibly could. I think somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not. It's quite cruel. Well, it's, you know, it's kind of a, it's pretty cruel to shoot someone in the fucking head. And what do I find? She's already married. Not only are you not dead, mm -hmm. you're getting married to some fucking jerk. And you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. I overreact. Maybe a bit, yeah. But I mean, that would make anybody pissed. But like, yeah, you just overreacted. But like, I kind of get why he was pretty pissed. I'm a killer. I'm a murdering bastard, you know that? Yeah, it's just what he knows. It's his natural reaction. Hey, Beatrix, you gotta know who you're dating, man. You ain't kidding. <laughs> Alright, so how, okay, how raw is Bill? I'm assuming he's the Ross out of all of them so far. Like, he's, he's the absolute best. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's the fucking thing they were talking about earlier. How Pai Mao never taught anyone. Played piano on his chest really quick. Now his heart's about to explode when he gets up and walks away. Pai Mei taught you yeah. the five-point palm exploding heart. Of course he did. He must have really won him over then. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, fuck would I tell you that? Because she knew deep down just in case one day she might need it. It was insurance. You're not a bad person. But every once in a while... 
the hero loses, they're still they be a real cunt. <laughs> it's kinda sucks because like you know as soon as he gets up and walks away he's gonna die. I'll look. I actually really like I like this character a lot, to be honest. It's very personable. Very charismatic. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah, she's a little bit sad. Next morning. <laughs> I think she's like happy crying. Yeah. <laughs> she's just so happy. Her life finally where it is. is all she ever wanted and she finally got it. Mm -hmm. So happy. All right, another Quentin Tarantino masterpiece. Yeah, this story was really damn good. This story was nothing how I thought it was gonna be, but I loved it. It was better than I thought it could ever have been, to be honest, because the overall story is one and two. Such a great payoff in the end right there too. It was very satisfying. It was very satisfying. Like I wanted Bill to die the entire time up until she did the thing. And then I was like, wait, no, this is actually kind of sad. No, RIP Bill. Not really, he's kind of a piece of shit, but like you kind of feel bad for him like for like a moment, you know? <laughs> She killed Bill. Who would have thought? It was only kind of sad when Bill died because after everything like that happened between them, you could tell they still they still loved each other and everything. And like she only ran away from him for the sake of her own child. You know, she didn't want her child to live the same life she had because it's not fair to her. It's not fair to her child, but she knows it's what Bill would have wanted. So I see why she dipped in the first place. And then Bill was like, well, the woman I love faked her death on me, so like I'm pretty pissed. And like Bill being a maniac when he tried to go and kill her, and that's what started this whole chain of events. That's why I ended up killing at least 200 people. <laughs> okay, this Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Definitely one of my top five favorite things I've watched so far this year on the channel. Like this Quentin Tarantino spree we're on, I, it's, it's been a very fun time. It's been very fun. There, it's, and like, I'm so happy I'm doing them now because I knew they were good before I watched them, but like, I didn't realize just how good they really were. Like they were way better than I even thought they were gonna be. But yeah, that was Kill Bill Volume 2. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.